Hi guys, I want to share with you a design I did, right, and how I did it, okay, and before I share that, I just want to say it is really important you know how to use design tool to the to, 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 to it max, right, or to a greater extent. It's not a necessity, but it's, I find it really important so as not to pull limit to your creativity, right, so as not to, you know, create limitations to how much of implementation you can you know yeah, how much of implementation you can put in place right so it, it's it's really really important yeah the reason i say it's not a necessity is because you can always collaborate with people who have mastered this tool over time but if you really want to be able to implement what's going up here in your head right in your head rather you really want to master this tool to a great extent so as not to limit your creative nature or your creativity or whatever it is right so there's a lot of theory i have about creativity in itself and that, that will come subsequent videos right but i'm really excited doing this because i'll be doing this more often so if not if not hit the full button or subscribe button just hit it right and let's get started so um I started working on this website. It's more of like just me playing around and wanting to explore some designs and motion and animation style and so on and so forth. So I took on this project, um, Bend, um, AMG, Vision AMG, yeah. So I tried to give this vibe, this this vibe of the aesthetic in itself, right, to be able to represent that like in a UI manner right so to be consistent with that feeling right i tried my best i don't know it's not it's still it's still work in progress but yeah let's see how i did it <laughs> okay all right so um there are like well four frames here i used four frames basically to be able to do this stuff right so this this is just like something i was exploring but it can go away okay okay mm, so there are two ways you can do this stuff right i can yes just use one frame right and still achieve all of these things i achieved so i'll play it for you so you see how it is that works so let me just expand the screen all right and restart it that's i press r in my keyboard right you can restart by pressing r in your keyboard that's something you want to take note of okay you see what happened mm-hmm mm-hmm now we are play from okay text slide in and from gray to color then and there was this speed and the text there was a transformation in the text right so that's that's important i think blow my mind that's just me exploring the copywriting style but okay i was actually blown my mind was actually blown away when i when i um, when I when I saw this stuff, right? When I saw the car and the spec and you know the things they were vibing about. So right, so that's really what what has been happening. So majorly, it's just the hero session. So I'll tell you how I did this did this stuff real quick, right? So I had so I, I know the, there's this. <laughs> This was, the smart animate is just screaming really hard and they say yes smart animate and yes i used smart animate so if you don't know what smart animate is this is you know a, um figma trying to match existing layers to one another so it can animate you know, having been smart with its previous states right so having that in you know, moving forward and being linked together so really it's, it's, it's all about matching layers to make the movement consistent with its earlier state right so something of that sort right so what i did here was i had this first frame right picture and i just you know read from here i reduced the size to something like this right and i made it gray so originally the picture you know is with the color i just made it i i, I killed the saturation I was, I was going to use Photoshop to open, but what's the point, right? There's so much color grading I can do here, but I was, I was not even willing to waste so much time for now, meaning that I'm just exploring the early stage, right? So, moving on, get here, 
I expanded it here. Remember what we did from the picture? I just expanded it here like this. So smart animates by all means would match this layer with this layer, right? This frame with this frame with the state of the layer, right? That's what smart animate does basically. And how I was able to link it was from one prototype just drag my wire here and if i click on my interaction details you get to see on click and the reason on click is because i did not really want to use after delay after delay is most appropriate there but i'm just still testing i do not want to get frustrated having to i will move on its own yeah it's supposed to be that way that's just a skip so um navigate to flow 2 which is this then smart animates right then i edit slow that's my animation type and i set it to one one thousand three hundred milliseconds yeah okay so right the from here to here so what i did the same thing the same thing right but this time i just you know brought back the saturation from here remember it was like this i just brought it 100 percent i gave um what do you call it title made the amg red to be consistent with the, the theme the red vibe right so what's happening it's, it's amg really it's amg that's the vibe i just want to give that and then moving forward i did that linking up to this guy that re that later changed that i scaled up the text here i okay and i broke it into two right so basically and then I had the car coming from here. So if you see here, there's a car here that is blurry, right? There's a blurred car here. How did I do this? I did not use Photoshop. I did not use Figma. I used Photoshop. You know, I think it's motion. What do you call it? Call it what do you call it? Okay, I, I don't think you can see my screen. But yeah, I, I did motion, um, motion blur, right? To get this Photoshop. Right, so yeah, then I linked it to this guy here. How I linked it was just basically the same thing, but this time it was quick. I needed that speed, right? It was quick. The time was 300, 8,000 milliseconds. Yeah, it was after delay. So the first, the, the only time I used on click interaction was at, at, at the beginning, right? Because I wanted to have control over that basically. That's why I did that. So here to here same thing but this time i did um quick 3000 okay i reset that right so you notice another thing if i play this stuff you see you see this so this stuff did not come right this stuff was not appearing because it was only at the last flow that's the flow four yeah then if i play this right now you see this something like this and watch what happens if i scroll down you see this stuff starts to starts to move oh, is, is it not? all right so there's this subtle movement from behind right that's micro interaction up there moving forward. you can see the text right the text that speed that elegant the details you know and this is a, a vertical is, is this a vertical i think extended right yeah both extended vertical new ltstd right so uh, basically that's really how i did it uh, <laughs> okay that's how i did it. if you have any question i uh, just just ask me right just ask me then i explain then you get to see how i use the color thing to do quietly so this the, the original color of this car is silver so really there should be more silver vibe coming into this design over time but i'm still it's still in the exploration stage i'm just seeing what i can come up with and how i can you know there'll be so much iteration and different style i would come up with. yeah cheers so all right i think that's it basically just you know like subscribe and watch out i'll be releasing a lot of videos you know to help your figma figma skill to help your design skill in general right so all right, poop.
Thank you very much for staying here. Bye. <laughs> right. Bye. -bye. Okay. I'm back. You can't go.